Hi guys, so we are going to read a book today. So before we get started, let's go over the parts of a book. So does anybody know what part of the book this is? This is called the front cover. So if that's the front, then this is the back cover of a book. This is the spine of a book. And the spine holds all of these pages together. And if the book didn't have a spine, all of these pages would fall out. So the spine holds it together. Um, these are the pages of a book that we are going to look at in a little bit. And the name of the book is called a title. So this title is Anansi and His Children. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. So like I said, this title is Anansi and His Children. So if we are looking at the picture on the front cover, what do you see? Of course, we see some words. We see the title. I see some spiders here. And what do you think that is up there? Let's find out. <clears throat> far, far away in the land of Ashanti, there was there once lived a most marvelous creature. His name was Anansi, and he was a spider. Some said Anansi was wise. After all, he had lived a long time, and he was great friends with Miami, the god of all things. You can see Miami up here, and here's Anansi. Some said Anansi was clever. After all, he could weave marvelous webs and spin magical stories. How do you think you spin a story? Some said Anansi was a mischief maker. After all, he loved to play tricks on both enemies and friends and sometimes on his own family. The truth was Anansi was all of these things. He was wise, and he was clever, and he was a mischief maker. Uh-oh, he played a trick on the butterfly. He caught him in his web. But Anansi was also a father, and he had six children whom he loved very much. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each had a name that described a special talent. What is a talent? Who knows what a talent is? A talent is something special that you can do. The first child was called Sea Trouble because that's what he could do. The second child was Road Builder. She could build paths through and to anything. The third child was River Drinker. He could drain a river down to the rocky bottom. The fourth child was Game Skinner. No matter what animal he fought, he won. The fifth child was Stone Thrower. She could pick up a stone no matter how large, then throw it far and high. And the sixth child was called Cushion because he was very, very soft. Doesn't he look like a pillow? One day, Anansi found a strange glowing orb in the forest. Oh, how beautiful, he said. I will give it to one of my children. But who? He thought and thought. I know, said clever Anansi. I will go far away and my children will think I'm lost. Whoever loves me most will come find me. And that child will receive the orb. So Anansi set off. But before he had gone far, wind came rushing across the plains. He picked Anansi up and spun him through the air with all his eight legs twirling. Ho ho, Anansi, said wind. It's time somebody played a trick on you. Wind took Anansi across the plains, through a forest and over a mountain. Then he dropped Anansi by the side of a river. Goodbye, Anansi, laughed Wind. Have a nice walk home. But Anansi was very dizzy from the spinning and twirling. Before he knew it, 
he tumbled into the river. Uh-oh. Oh no, said Anansi, rowing with all his eight legs to get back to shore. But before he could reach land, a big fish saw him wriggling, swam up, and swallowed him. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen to Anansi? Back at home, Sea Trouble saw what happened. <gasps> Father is in trouble, he cried. We must go and save him. Road Builder hopped into action. She spun a path across the plains, through the forest, over the mountain, and to the river. And they were all able to walk on it. How cool is that? I wish I had that talent. Now River Drinker went to work draining the water and soon the fish was flopping on the rocky bottom. Next, Game Skinner split the fish wide open and out popped Anansi. My wonderful children, he cried. But before he could hug them with any of his eight legs, a falcon swooped down from the sky. What do you guys think a falcon is? That's a new word, falcon. A falcon is a type of bird. Not again, cried Anansi as he was carried into the air. Now it was Stone Thrower's turn. She snatched up a heavy stone and threw it with all her might. Ugh. The stone hit the bird who screeched and squawked and dropped Anansi. Cushion scrambled underneath to protect his father from the fall. He was like a big pillow. What a happy tangle there was as Anansi hugged his children with all his eight legs. But then Anansi realized he had a problem. Whom, could, whom would he give the orb to? He called out to Niami, the god of all things. Help me, Niami, whom shall I choose? After all, Sea Trouble saw my danger and called for help. Road Builder brought my children to me. River Drinker drained the river that hid me. Game Skinner opened the fish that swallowed me. Stone Thrower saved me from the bird's claws. And Cushion caught me when I fell. What do you think he's going to do? Who do you think is going to get the orb? I wonder what Naomi is going to say. Mm. Wise Naomi answered, then all your children deserve the treasure. Give the orb to me. I will place it in the sky for all of them to enjoy. Do you think that was a good idea? Now they all can share it, right? Let's see what he does with it. <gasps> and the moon is still there to this very day for everybody to enjoy. The end. Thanks for joining me, guys.